I am pissed off today. Why am I pissed off? Because Google's exact match close variant matched me to the word Georgia 360 when I exact match targeted GA 360. <laughs> Google GA360 right now, Google doesn't have anything about Georgia on that freaking first page of results. They know that it's about Google Analytics. And I had to pay money for the word Georgia360. So when I get pissed, I figure out how to look at big data instantly to help me figure out how to make sure that I'm not a victim of bad machine learning. So let's go today. I'll teach you how to do all this stuff yourselves so you don't get caught up in this crap because they just changed eight days ago. Now, it's not just exact match close variant, we're also finding the results on broad match close variant and phrase match close variant are starting to come in to play as well, which just makes that whole GA360, Georgia 360 thing even freaking worse. So, let's go. So when I get pissed off, what I do is I go into BigQuery, and uh, this is just what we're doing at SEER. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourselves with just a couple CSV files, so don't get too scared. Um, I have every client, I'm looking at how often they're getting matched to exact match close variant, how much money has been spent on those, their CPA, yada, 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 yada. So now I'm not just, when Google says, hey, like we think it's gonna be three to 4% more conversions and it's gonna show up for a bunch of this. Trust, but freaking verify is my mantra because this, that's, that's a broad number for everybody in the whole universe. It has to be different on a client by client basis. So what I have on the right hand side here is the query versus the keyword text that matches that query. And I blurred them out, or I've taken out the uh, I've taken out the keywords because they're my client's data. You're not seeing it, um, but you can see that I've got query length minus text length. When I subtracted the length of the query that we um, that we're showing up for from the keyword text that we wanted to show up for, that's how we found things like acronyms are a freaking problem. GA 360 versus Georgia 360. You know MD could be McDonnell Douglas for a plane and medical doctor for something else. And for some reason, wouldn't you want to know if your ads were showing up for airplanes when you're in the medical field? Probably, because you're the one paying for the clicks. Joke is on you. So here you can see that I can look across all my clients and see that, for instance, on this one word, there's a 50 character difference between what we bid on and what we're showing up for. And I would say that most of the time Google gets it right. But don't you want to know when Google gets it wrong because it's your money at play. And what I can do on this right side here is I can sort and look at the different lengths and find the outliers. This is not a really polished deliverable yet, but when Google makes a change, I got to be ready to react to it pretty quickly. So now I want to go ahead and show you how you can do this yourselves. A lot of you, I'm using Power BI. You can use Tableau, Power BI, etc. If you want to pull down a bunch of CSVs and do it in Excel and have to update it manually every time you want to check every week, be my guest. You can also use things like super metrics and whatnot. I don't care what tool you use. I just want to see all of us get smarter so we're not just beholden to the averages that Google gives us, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how to do that right now. So I have abbreviations and full words. And this is what Google's basically doing. They're doing it with singulars and plurals. They're doing it with other things where they're matching you to these words. But if you want to do what I just did, basically what you do is you take this abbreviation file and you go over to Power BI. All right, so here I am in my favorite tool, Power BI. B is it is it is I and I'm gonna go ahead and get a file so when I want to get a file I go to get data I'm gonna pick a CSV and here's our lovely file I'm gonna go ahead and I like to click edit on my way in and just do a little bit of house cleaning so uh, I know my first uh, row is my header I'm just gonna click use first row as headers done and one of my favorite things to do is to add a column or add a column from an example so I'm gonna go to add column, and uh, you can do column from examples here, or you can do, I think you can right click and add column from example. So what I know is that AB has two characters in it. Notice how when I put in the number two, it automatically is like, we know what you want. I just click it, boom. Yes, done. Now I've added up the length of all of my uh, matched keywords or my abbreviation, doesn't really matter. I mean, we're just using this as a test file. And I click OK. Magic happens, boom. So now I'm gonna need to rename this just to keep it nice and clean. Rename, uh, it's keyword length. And now y'all know what I'm gonna do because it's so freaking easy, right? Like, 
I'm going to click on Query. I'm going to right click and say Add Column from Examples. And I'm going to take, uh, let's see, the first one here. There we go. Length of Query is 8. And now I've got the length of my next column. I just click OK. Done. Runs. Booyah. And now I'm going to rename this as Query Length. And now I need to calculate the difference between the two. I could create slicers. There's so many things I can do here. Let's open up my different options here. And I can say I want to look at keyword next to query, which is just a freaking table, so that's super easy. But now what I can do is I can do a slicer for keyword length and query and the query length or the whatever I'm calling query length. Yep. All right. So now what I can do is I can look at the keyword length versus the query length. I could slice around, but what I prefer to do is to create a measure. So I go up to new measure. And I'm going to say, so how long equals sum of keyword length close that out, subtract it from the sum of query length, close that out, and now I have a measure. And now I can look at how long. So now what I'm able to do is sort my data by looking at where do I have the most egregious instances of a keyword that is an abbreviation that I might have put into my PPC account that is now matching another word that may or may not be what it really means. And as you can see, I mixed up my data set with medical and terms from uh, SEO and PPC people, internet marketers. And you can see that like strength at SWAT matches strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But there's a 40 character difference between the two. And this was how we found at SEER it's a quick and dirty way. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's one of the ways that we found how to find the acronyms that are matching to things because we could see that the length of the two queries is very different. And then we manually looked at them and made sure that when you searched for both of those things, that they both showed similar types of search results. When they show very different search results, you know you might have differences in intent for that phrase or for that acronym. So I hope this is super helpful. Let me know in the comments if it is. Let me know how I can make it better. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Let's keep this going. Thank you.